Come to the table, enter his presence, feast with thanksgiving and celebrate his love. Come to the table, enter his presence, feast with thanksgiving and celebrate his love. This is the house of the Lord. Our gates are open wide. Sinners and saints, strong and faint, all welcome to come inside. Come to the table, enter his presence. Feast with thanksgiving and celebrate his love. Come to the table, enter his presence. Feast with thanksgiving and celebrate his love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise that it may go well with you and that you may have a long life on earth. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up with the training and instruction of the Lord. Slaves, be obedient to your human masters with fear and trembling, in sincerity of heart as to Christ not only when being watched as currying favor, but as slaves of Christ, along the will of God from the heart, willingly serving the Lord and not men, knowing that each will be requited from the Lord for whatever good he does, whether he is slave or free. Masters, act in the same way towards them and stop bullying, knowing that both they and you have a master in heaven and that with him there is no partiality. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is faithful in all his words. The Lord is faithful in all his words. Let all your works 
give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. The Lord is faithful in all his words. Making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is faithful in all his words. The Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The Lord is faithful in all his words. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus passed through towns and villages, teaching as he went, and making his way to Jerusalem. Someone asked him, Lord, will only a few people be saved? He answered them, Strive to enter through the narrow gate. For many, I tell you, will attempt to enter, but will not be strong enough. After the master of the house has arisen and locked the door, then will you stand outside knocking and saying, Lord, open the door for us. He will say to you in reply, I do not know where you are from. And you will say, we ate and drank in your company and you taught in our streets. Then he will say to you, I do not know where you are from. Depart from me, all you evildoers. And there will be wailing and grinding of teeth when you see Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God and you yourselves casts out and people will come from east and the west and from the north and the south and will recline at table in the kingdom of God for behold some are last who, who will be the first and some are first who will be last the gospel of the Lord Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ang dami niyong nakapula ngayon, ha? Nag-usap-usap ba kayo? Ha? Uh, Chinese New Year na ba? Hindi pa naman, ha? O panglaban niya sa multo? No? Well, uh, I would like to greet and welcome to this Eucharistic celebration the members of the Philippine Institute of Civil Engineers Incorporated who are following us online. Okay, so welcome to the celebration. My dear brothers and sisters, during the time of Jesus, there, is a, there was a common belief among the Jews that since they belong to the people of God, the chosen people, they are sure of salvation. That was their belief. 
Kaya medyo angat ang tingin nila sa sarili nila eh. Kami ang bayang pinili ng Diyos. Today in the Gospel, the Lord is correcting that misconception. He was saying to the Jews and to us that being affiliated to the people of God, being a taong simbahan, being a Catholic baptized, being someone who prays the novena and wear uniforms of Catholic organizations, those do not guarantee of salvation. Jesus said in the Gospel, Many of you will say, Lord, we have ate, eaten and drunk in your company and you taught us in our streets. We know you. And the Lord would say, I do not know where you are from. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, affiliations to, the, to a certain religion, affiliations to Catholic Church does not guarantee our eternal salvation. What guarantees? You know, when I was a seminarian, we were introduced to a classic book of Thomas Akempis. The title of the book is The Imitation of Christ. That was the title of the book. It was a good book. It is a good book. But the title says it all. To be a disciple, to be worthy of eternal salvation, means to imitate Christ. To imitate Christ. Kaya kahit po ako, no, sa palagay nyo, dahil pari ako, sigurado na ako mapupunta sa langit. Hindi. Kayo na nagsisimba araw-araw, Sa palagay nyo, sigurado na kayo sa langit, hindi pa rin. Sapagkat ang hinahanap sa atin ay yung makilala tayo ni Jesus. At paano tayo makikilala ni Jesus? Kapag ginagawa natin ang kanyang ginagawa. Imitation of Christ is the key to eternal salvation. And in the latter part of the gospel, Jesus said, people will come from the east and the west and from the north and the south and will recline at table of the kingdom of God. Those who probably have not heard of Jesus' name, those probably who have not heard about Catholic Church or Christian religion, baka sila pa ang mauna sa atin sa pagpasok sa langit. Because if they live with lives that are similar to Christ, they are welcome to recline at God's table. Kaya mga minamahal kong kapatid, siyempre, no, kailangan nating magsimba, Kailangan nating magdasal, kailangan nating magkumunyon. I'm not ruling that out, ha? Huh? We need to pray, we need to go to the church, we need to go to, to Mass, especially on Sundays. We have to follow the commandments of the, of the church. All of these are necessary, but all of them are not enough. All of these are necessary, but all of them are not enough. We must be imitators of Christ. And so during this Mass, let us ask for that grace. Lord, give me the grace to be able to imitate you. Tulungan mo ako na matularan ka, Panginoon. Amen. Please stand. We may never come to God's table relying on our own merits alone. 
we respond with faith to His invitation to all people to enter His kingdom. With that humility, let us offer our prayers as we say, Keep us humble in your sight, O Lord. Keep us humble in your sight, O Lord. That the members of the Holy Church of God may come to the feast of the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Keep us, Keep humble, us humble in your, in your sight, sight, O Lord. Lord. That governments of nations may respect religious freedom and allow peoples to hear Christ's invitation. Let us pray to the Lord. Keep, Keep us, us humble, humble in your sight, sight O Lord. Lord. That we may take our Christian obligations seriously and strive earnestly to enter by the narrow door that leads to eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Keep, Keep us, us humble, humble in your sight, sight O Lord. O Lord. For, all, for all civil engineers, PICE members, that they may be inspired by Christ's example in the practice of their profession and in their efforts to serve their respective communities to make us a better place to live. Let us pray to the Lord. Keep, Keep us, us humble, humble in your sight, sight O oh Lord. That those who are suffering in mind and body may accept their cross patiently. Let us pray to the Lord. Keep us humble in your sight, O Lord. That the faithful departed may be welcomed into the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Keep us humble in your sight, O Lord. Lord and Father of all peoples, we make this prayer in faith, seeking to respond to the invitation of your Son, our only Savior, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord <coughs> accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. 
and is coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us love like Jesus. Let us pray like Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, 
Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. For November 1 and 2, our Masses would be at 7.30 in the morning and at 12.10 in the afternoon. So even if it is a Saturday on November 2, we will have a special or extra Mass at 12.10. You are most welcome to attend the Eucharist as we remember our departed. In connection with that, the Chapel of the Blessed Souls will be open and there you can write the names on the envelopes of your loved ones and we will be praying for them and masses will be offered on their behalf for the whole month of November. Pwede din po kayo magtirik ng kandila doon sa Blessed Souls Chapel. And uh, tonight our family, Wednesday Family Rosary will be hosted by the community of Sanctuario de San Antonio Parish in Forbes Park, Makati. So that will be at 9 p.m. via our Facebook page, Manila Cathedral. You are most uh, uh, encouraged no, to join us in praying the rosary. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.